Hi, what are you? How are you? Alright. Can I get you any sauce? Um, you have a couple of whatever, doesn't matter. Mine? Love. Love. Where are you? Love. Love. Oh my goodness, you can't eat this. a little bit. Well, just a little bit. What's up, my people? Hope you enjoyed the little skit that my family did. But on a serious note, I do want to talk about uh, the issue at hand. I was a closet eater. Um, to give you a little fast background of what I went through was like at work when it was time for me to take my lunch break, I would walk down to Burger King and order me uh, two Whoppers with cheese, um, a large fry, an onion ring, and a strawberry shake. And I would sit there and I would destroy that meal. And about a half an hour, 45 minutes before I got to go back to work, I would go back up to the register again and we ordered, we ordered a Whopper with cheese again, a large fry, and another shake, and bring that back to me, back to work, where I sat in a break room and ate that whole meal again, just because I didn't want nobody to know what I ate before, and everybody thought that, you know, was my, my first meal, my only meal that I had there, but in the backgrounds, I had all that food already inside of me. So, so it was time for me to go back to work after my break, and I had to run to catch a train. And um, I couldn't make it. I just couldn't make it. I couldn't get to my location where I should have started. I was out of breath. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe for about half an hour. I was like gasping for air, um, so that was my that was my stopping point. That was my my Daryl, wake up, brother! You're about to collapse. Wake up, brother! You're about to collapse. So, I just started thinking about my life and what I was going through, and decided to it got to be a better way. So, I want to hear your story. If you got any stories, I know you do. Everybody got stories. You guys take care. Peace. Love you.